Okay guys, this is the first video for YouTube with my new camera, so apologies if it doesn't quite work right. But uh, this is the Regent's Canal in uh, North London, and uh, I'm really just going to show you something quite interesting. So uh, perhaps we'll uh, ignore the boats, which are a very sort of interesting and varied spectacle and instead we're going to concentrate on the path. Now the towpath obviously historically was used for towing canal boats up and down the canal using horses um, and now rather it's relegated to the occasional cyclist and uh, pedestrian. And the reason it's interesting is because beneath these paving slabs lies a bit of a monster and there's the warning sign. CGB cables under these slabs. Of course, CGB was the central electricity generating board, and uh, that was disbanded many years ago. And uh, these cables are now operated by National Grid. For these are 275 kilovolt cables, and they run along this canal towpath. Um, interconnecting a number of North London major supergrid substations. So at the moment I'm in the King's Cross region on the Regent's Canal, just the uh, north east slightly of King's Cross Station and you can see uh, Camden Lock in the background. And uh, beneath these slabs are several 275 kilovolt cables, so over on the far side there you have um, the St Johnswood substation and beyond that Willesden um, and these cables are an unusual type of uh, high, high voltage cable that National Grid operate um, most of them are on, on high pylons or in deep underground uh, tunnels or deep underground trenches but these are very shallow and they're really only a few inches below the surface I was wondering how I was going to show this to you but rather conveniently there are some works here and um, on the uh, wall there is a diagram which clearly shows the cables. So let's take a closer look at that. So there in the centre here we can see the canal itself, water level here. The new brickwork is going to be inserted and here is the towpath. A little bit of grass work as we saw, more grass work up here. Here are the slabs and here are the four 275 kilovolt cables literally just contained within this shallow steel tray uh, with just the paving slabs on the top. And uh, I can show you the magnetic field which from these is really pretty strong because when you have multiple cables close together the uh, magnetic field sort of drops off really according to the cube of the distance, inverse proportional, and there we go, there's my iPhone compass can't get any lock because of the quite strong magnetic field. And just a quick close-up of St Pancras Lock. I think uh, a little Freudian slip uh, occurred earlier. I think I bought this um, Camden Lock. It clearly isn't Camden Lock, this is uh, St Pancras Lock. And of course it's all mechanically, or rather I should say manually operated. Push the uh, door arms yourself, use the old windlass to uh, operate the sluice gates. Very traditional. And you can just see the trains running into uh, St Pancras on the back, over the bridge there. I think that's the East Coast Main Line there. 25 kilovolt electrified. Okay, this is um, a little bit further up the canal, and this is um, Kentish Town Road Lock. Again, just another one of these mechanical locks for the narrow boats that uh, navigate this canal. Just trying to get an idea of uh, the scale of this. It's really very, very narrow, only probably five metres or so wide and you have the weir on the other side to regulate the uh, water level. 
Just another view of the uh, cable trays a little further on. And what's interesting is every now and again we get one of these cabinets. Um, and I don't really know what they are. I assume they're some sort of monitoring thing related to the uh, cables. Um, they're pretty blank, you're pretty secure. Some of them don't even have locks on. They're completely sealed, but uh, I really don't know what these are. Presumably current transformers and monitoring, I guess. Okay, guys, so we've arrived at St. John's Wood and I've left the canal towpath because you get a better vantage point here for the substation and uh, you may even be able to hear it already that lovely 50 hertz hum in the background so here we go have a look at this and there in the distance over the other side of the canal you can see St John's Wood substation just focus that on you can see the sulphur hexafluoride insulated bus bars, big radiator there with a uh, conservator tank on the top, and over there you can see the, the sulphur hexafluoride insulated uh, conductors disappearing off underground over there. Very interesting. This uh, substation supplies a very substantial portion of uh, north central London very interesting and of course those 275 kV cables that we saw going along the uh, canal a little bit further along were bringing power over from East London over to Central. Um, National Grid are currently upgrading St John's Wood substation with some very large um, underground tunnels which will carry 400 kV um, between the 275 kV network which runs along the, the towpath to uh, a larger 400 kV network. There we go. And there we go, this is another view of the underground connections to those bus bars there.